Congratulations, Jared. Joe Chandler. Um, what picking up from the last question, obviously, what you're talking about is all this heavy lifting that used to be done by old newsrooms now being picked up by not for profits and philanthropics. Um, from this distance, one of the problems we've got in Australia is we just simply don't have that same ethic of philanthropy generally. Um, and certainly, as someone who's approached various um, individuals and organisations around seeing journalism as an area worthy of philanthropic um, support. Um, you get a very blank stare often. I'm wondering what uh, suggestions or lessons you have about trying to um, have this discussion in the Australian context about the place of philanthropy and not-for-profits in supporting journalism. Well, I think America is different to everywhere, everywhere else. And the reason why there are so many non-profits in America is that you can actually... It's the only country in the world where you can donate um, money and get a tax deduction for journalism. Because it's, you know, a charitable status, basically 501c3, which is what we are. We're a charitable status in America. You can't do that here. You have to... You, you literally cannot do it. Simple as that. So if you give money... We get money from Graham Wood, who's a philanthropist here. And he literally has to write the cheque and give us the money. He doesn't get any tax deduction for it. If he was able to get a tax deduction, we'd get twice as much. So I think the debate is really about you know, you really need to start pressuring the government here to allow this to happen if this is, you know, which I think it has to at some point or other because as the media is basically is dying and is not doing this kind of work, I think there is a need for it. But if you want people to contribute, and I have to say I spend about a third of my time trying to raise money, you, there has to be an incentive for them to do it. And in America, there is. I mean, I sometimes donate money myself to my own organization and get a tax deduction for it because it's, it's just worth my while doing it. So we have to persuade rich individuals, corporations and politicians that it's in their interest to uh, encourage good journalism. <laughs> well, I think it is. And I think that, you know, in Europe, the, the whole picture is changing there. The European Union is now starting to fund journalism. It's actually set up um, hands-off money for journalism. It's a European journalism fund. Uh, we haven't managed to get any money from them yet. But again, you know, because we're not based in Europe. But it's the, the whole shift, uh, there is a shift out there in the world that hasn't happened here. And I, I don't know whether it's just because, you know, the crisis isn't big enough here or the journalists aren't shouting loudly enough yet. <laughs>